Hey, you guys, it's Life Coach D. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share, like, leave a comment. So today I want to talk about survival, surviving in these hard times, right? It's hard times, guys, for everybody. You're not alone. It's not just you. It's hard times for me. <laughs> it's hard times for everyone that I that I know, you know, right now. And that's what made me want to bring this video out because we have to focus on coping and getting through these times. It's nothing new under the sun. We have been here before and we can get past it. We can get through it. Everything is based off attitude. It's based off your perception. It's based off your daily habits. And I want to talk about that today. So I'm only going to bring out four different ways we can cope during these hard times. During these hard times of inflation, during these hard times of, it's it's just not a buyer's market, right? It's a seller's market. So it's like purchasing gas is super expensive. Groceries is super expensive. We're trying to buy a home, even a car. Buying a car in these times right now, it's very challenging. So how do we survive? How do we cope? So the first way to cope during these hard times is to, to stay sane. Keep your anxiety levels down, right? So we have to remember that we cannot control what's happening right now. We cannot control these gas prices. We cannot control this inflation. All we can do is keep a positive mindset and prepare and, and, keep, and keep it moving, you know, focusing on the day, focusing on day to day. That's, all, that's pretty much all we can do during these hard times, right? So I want to make sure that you guys continue to focus on maintaining your anxiety levels, maintaining your stress levels, not allowing these hard times to get you into depression, not allowing not allowing these hard times to get to the point of your anxiety is just is skyrocketing and, you, and it's hard for you to even function, it's hard for you to even to, to cope because you're so worried, okay? So we want to release that worrying spirit. We want to let that worrying spirit go. We want to stay sane, stay calm, and stay positive. That's the first tip. That's the first way of coping during these hard times. The second way of coping during these hard times is controlling your spending habits. Now, that is something you do have control over. While you may not have control over the economy, the gas prices, the food prices, the rise in real estate, you know, the housing market, you have control over your spending. And what really helped bring awareness to me on this was talking to one of my brothers, you know, one of my brothers named Damien, I was talking to him about it. And he was just like, hey, you know, you really have to budget, you know, how you're spending, what's coming in, what's going out, you know, really getting analysis on that. So that's something I want to share with you guys. We have to get back in control of how we're spending. So it's going to have to be disciplined with the spending, less spending on entertainment. I know you guys love to go out, you have to have a good time, but those are ways you can cut back. So, you know, cutting back on dining out, cutting back on the movies, <laughs> cutting back on the areas of pleasure. You know, instead of going out to the movies, you may have to make it a Netflix and chill. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Netflix and chilling. Netflix has some really good movies. You know, we got Amazon Prime, we got Hulu, we got Stars, we got Showtime On Demand. It's so many great live streaming options that will allow you to save money. Because, I mean, going to the movies, you're going to spend at least $100, just at minimum, with the ticket, the food, everything. So that's a great way to cut back, cutting back on Uber Eats, cutting back on takeout, cutting back on dining out. It's another great way. We spend so much money on dining out and takeout that it's ridiculous. If you really just do analysis on that, you probably will save hundreds of dollars weekly just cutting back on that. So if you're somebody that eats out every single day, I'm not telling you to eliminate it as a whole. I'm saying just cut back. So instead of eating out every day, ordering takeout every day, cut, cut, it, cut it back to twice a week. You know, then twice a week, cut it back to weekly. From weekly, cut it back to every two weeks. From every two weeks, cut it back to once a month. Just depending on what your spending habits are on eating out, dining out, entertainment, traveling. We're someone that loves to travel. Hey, everything is high. I could imagine traveling overseas, how high that could be. Or even traveling state to state, how high that could be for hotel, lodging, food, gas. The gas is already been so high. 
you may want to consider cutting back on traveling. You may want to consider, instead of, you know, flying via air, cruise, considering a cruise. The good thing about planning a trip on a cruise, you, you can make monthly partial payments and you can take your time with, you know, paying out for a cruise and you still get the same great travel experience. And then you're able to do multiple locations, you know. So just really just being wiser with your decisions, your decision making, you know, in those areas of wants, right, desires. So we really have to analyze our needs versus our wants. What do we need to survive versus what we want to survive? Really taking a, a an, uh, analyzing the needs versus the want and needs and a needs analysis. Hold on. I said that's so wrong. It needs analysis. I'm so sorry, y'all. My pronunciation be off sometimes. You got to remember, I come from a Caribbean background. So it's A. <laughs> okay, so back to it. You know, a need analysis is very important because a lot of things we don't have to spend on, right? We can cut back on a lot of, a lot of different areas and we don't even realize the hundreds of dollars, right? <laughs> so it's important that we consider our spending groceries let's let's hit the groceries topic so i'm somebody personally who used to because i can't now because groceries are so high we'll go in the grocery store no grocery list hitting every aisle throwing things in the buggy spending three four hundred dollars at the grocery store for no reason getting things that's going to sit in the freezer and grow ice spots what's it called ice spots or ice What's it called? I can't think of what's it called, but it's sitting in the freezer. Let me tell you that for months, right? Until I'm throwing it away. I'm just, my, my mom likes to say, I'm being uh, big eyed, right? So now it comes down to, I can't do that no more. Groceries are so high. I can't go, I can't afford to go in the grocery store and spend so much money, you know, for my household. I have to write a grocery list. Like I, have to go in the store with the grocery list, be disciplined, follow my list, and understand like, hey, this is what I'm cooking this week. This is what I'm going to cook next week. This is what I have to stick to. I can't buy all these things that's going to just sit and grow ice spots or ice spots or whatever. I forgot the term for it. But anyways, you get the drift. <laughs> so just being more disciplined, just, just coming up with different ways you can be more in control of your spending, okay? Spending less. And that leads me to my third point because once we control our spending, we can go into building up our savings, building up our bank accounts, right? It's say what are savings for? Savings are for times, hard times. Savings are for disasters, right? So if we don't have a savings built up, what are we gonna live off? So it's important to spend less, the money that you're cutting back on, throw that money into your savings. And continue to build, build your emergency fund, build your savings. So important to build your savings, especially in these times, because you just never know. What if things get worse? What if things get worse, you guys? And that's the mindset we have to have. What if things don't get better? What if they get worse before they get better? So we have to start building our savings. If you have credit cards, contribute more money towards your credit cards to pay off so you can have that credit for in that time of need. Vital, important. These are tips I'm giving you to cope during hard times. And I really pray that you guys receive this message and consider it. The last step, because I don't want this video to be drawn out. You know, I want it to be a nice, short video, getting straight to the point, because we got to cope during these times. We got to get through this. We will get through it. I have faith in the Most High God. And that's important, faith. Because the Most High God supplies us with all our needs, right? He supplies us with all our needs. There isn't anything that he hasn't provided us for. So we will get through these times. The fourth tip, the fourth way to cope during these hard times of dealing with this inflation, the cost of living going sky high, increasing. Side hustle, side hustle, side hustle. I am very big on hustling, having hustles. Having a side hustle is so important. So many different reasons why, right? First reason. With your side hustle, not only can you contribute that money to your savings, you also can use some of that money for the things that you enjoy doing, for the entertainment, for the food, buying out, dining out, 
you're traveling, instead of spending from your main source of income to do those things, you can use your side hustle to do those things to fulfill, you know, that balance of living a peaceful, happy, positive life with doing things you enjoy doing, self-care, self-love. So that side hustle could contribute to that, right? Side hustles are amazing. There's so many opportunities now for you to gain a part-time gig, working from home, driving Uber Eats, um, carts, Instacarts. Um, it's so many different things that you can do to create a side hustle. Freelance work. It just depends on what you're great at, what your skills, what you're skilled in, you're passionate about. You can make a side hustle on pretty much anything, guys. Just consider what are different ways we can make more money. For example, if you're good at braiding hair, you're good at doing, you're good at doing hair, you're good at twisting dreadlocks, doing natural hair, you can start a side hustle doing that. You're good at drawing, you're good at music. It's a site called Fiverr.com, site called Upwork, people per hour. There's so many opportunities and resources that you can consider to make extra money. And in these times, more than one income is important. Um, you know, especially if you are the breadwinner, you're the only one, you're a single parent, single, you're the only breadwinner within your household. It's important that you, you consider a side hustle. You know, in these times, we all need a side hustle, not just you, me, me too, <laughs> all of us. So let's do a recap, right? So the four ways to cope during these hard times of inflation, just trying to survive, you guys. The first way is to manage your anxiety, manage your trust level, stay positive, understand that it's out of your control. There's not much you can do, right? So focusing on the present. The second way is to control your spending, control your spending habits, eliminate what you can, really consider consider the needs versus wants. What is needed versus what I want, right? So important. Third way, build up your savings. Build up your savings. If you have credit cards, paying off your credit cards so you can have that money, that credit for in the times that you need it. You know, it's so important to build up that savings, having that emergency fund built up working towards it. If you don't, you can start today. It's not too late to start building your savings. You have to start today putting $100 aside, putting $200 aside, $300, whatever you can bear to put aside. Every time you get paid, consider that. And the last tip, side hustle. Consider a side hustle. Consider another stream of income. So important. It all correlates and corresponds to all the other areas of helping you to stay sane, of helping you to contribute to your wants and your desires, where you don't have to focus on your main source of income because you have a side hustle. You can continue to maybe eat, twice, eat out twice a week to stay mentally sane and positive and at peace. And you can also use some of that money to build towards your savings and pay off some of your debt. So those are four ways to cope during these hard economical times, these stressful times. We are all feeling it. We are all affected by it. It's currently not a buyer's market. And we are aware of that. So all we can do is cope and keep it moving. So I just want to share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys share. It's Life Coach D. And I pray that you guys consider these tips and you keep it pushing and you continue to have faith in the Most High God because we will get through these times. Enjoy, guys. Bye.